When I write ya All across the USC, Compton, Watts Bay to LA From on to California From valley to valley We represent that killer county So if you keeping it real on your side of your town You tune in to Gangsta Chronicles Gangsta Chronicles We gon' tell you how it goes uh, If I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth Ooh. Gangsta Chronicles This is not your average show You're now tuned in to the real MCA, Big James, and Big Steel This is strictly from the streets Hello Let, let, let me ask you a question, Pete. You know, you was running with one of the most um, hard body dudes out there. You know, the Supreme Team and everything, man. And, um, and thank God everything is peace right now, though, man. But how volatile, man, did that situation get with 50 Cent at the time? I mean, you know, that shit could have been ugly and all that. You know, uh, I, I bumped into a lot of people that was down with them and all that. It was a, a lot of... Things change, man. A lot of stunt, a lot of front, a lot of running around, and all that. But you know, I never really actually ran into Fifty Cent. And when we did ran into each other, it was all love. You know what I'm saying? It was like it was all love. And he was with forty guys, and I ain't gonna lie, it was just me and one other guy. You know what I'm saying? And I keep saying the same story. It was just like one of those things. But like I told you, I stay focused. So it's like I got him. I don't know how many he gonna hold down, but I'm, I know I'm gonna hold down like ten. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, 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 um, but it was all love. 50 came, you know what I'm saying? Came up. Yo, what's up? I was having a hard time. They wanted to let me inside the building. One of these fucking awards and shit like that, BET awards or, you know, I always have like little issues and shit like that sometimes. You know, they'd be, they'd be a little extra when I pull up. You know what I'm saying? They'd be, oh, they'd be stuck and shit like that. And, oh, hold up, but we gotta, whatever. So I was having one of those. And 50 pulled up. What's up, man? Yo, respect. Pistol, what's up, man? Love. He said, yo, what's up? I said, nah, I'm having a hard time. So he was like, yo, we ain't going in until he go in. He with us. Oh, and it was big. like, all right, cool. And I, and I went in with 50 of them. It was all up. And that's big. And, you know, going back to what James said earlier, man, I think through music and everything, and, you know, the visuals, these kids see that prison life, right? And so that's they go from the time they hit the streets, man. They see the big homies coming home from prison and hearing, the, you know, the leg, you know, the hood legends and stuff like that, man. What do you say to these kids today, man, that want to live that life that they ain't quite ready for it? For I mean, that's why we got that dog in the yard. You know what I'm saying? So they can see what it is. You know what I'm saying? Well, brothers, fuck what I tell them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could tell them, I could tell you a million stories right now. We talk about, I'm sure, I'm, 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 I'm giving everybody else that platform. Right. So brothers can go up there and break down their they situation and their struggles and all that. You know what I'm saying? When they went to jail and all that. You know what I'm saying? So the kids can see that. That's not for us and all that. Yeah, you could pick up some shit from it. You know what I'm saying? Of course. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, that's for the youth, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get back for the youth because to be like, yo, oh shit. Like, oh, this is what they doing now? You know what I'm saying? And we going to go further with it. You know what I'm saying? We just warming up. I'm cruising. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, my plan is just to help a lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I mean? My, 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 <clears throat> the ideal hold of the dog in the yard is to really, like, reach all the sisters and brothers that's out there fucking up, man. I think that is sweet and all that. You know, they shooting around and shit like that. They killing little kids and all that shit. All we doing is killing ourselves and all that. You feel me? So we got to show these people, man, like, these kids, like, if you could pick up one or two, you know what I mean? You can see that, you know, because I, I already had, that kind of conversation where brothers call me, reach out on my DM, yo, my daughter was fucked up when she seen that episode of, you know, she was like, wow, I better tighten up. Like, you know, cause it's real. Right. Sometimes we just be doing shit on, 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 on you know, you young as shit, you don't really think. You be out there, you be like, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's then true. You find yourself the young, in the situation, are fascinated. You they fascinated with, with, the, with, the, with the picture or what the setup is of what they think the the recognition is gonna get them if I go to yeah. prison or if I do something because you know a lot of niggas feel like that gives them that 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 gives them that that stripe you get me you get that stripe if you go to the pen and you come back home you represent for whatever but that's not the way to go for the youth but then we got to learn like shit in some situations it ain't just youth it's old ass motherfucking niggas who still you know stuck in 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 shit and we can't get along as a people so I think we got to learn how to how to 
how to mend that shit first. Because right. I just came from a situation where you know I'm at a sit. I'm at a. I'm, I'm I'm at a total different element, and I find myself getting into it with a grown ass man over some bullshit. You get me? And I think, you know, with all what's going on right now, and even though we got to be able to control the youth, we got to be able to set an example as the grown G's or whatever to show motherfuckers this ain't the pathway. You get me? Well, well, what you got to do first, and I, I've heard you say this on the uh, interview I saw you do, uh, respect, uh, loyalty, uh, honor. You don't have that no more. A lot of a lot of these young cats don't possess it. They don't understand it. Never knew what it meant. And yeah. you have to bring that back to move forward. And just how I heard you say with the guy that you was interviewing, that was interviewing you, I fuck with you. My loyalty is to you. You know what I'm saying? And ain't too many people think like that today. You know what I'm saying? Ain't too many people feeling that way. I feel that way because my loyalty is to eight. If eight getting down today, I'm getting down today. If no, I'm getting down, I'm getting down. I don't have a choice. That's my loyalty. That's, that's where I'm at. And that was one big thing that I, I, I listened to you. And I think that's where you're going to catch the kids at. We, all of us, we got to, we got to teach them that loyalty and, and what it means. Got to, man. Got to, man. Got to. Sometimes, you know, I'm not going to say that loyalty, sometimes you, sometimes your loyalty, you get fried up by fault, you know what I'm saying, for being so loyal. Sometimes your loyalty, you know, don't get you where, 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 where you probably deserve to be or something like that. You feel right. me? Right. So, but the way I look at it is, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't, I don't. As long as I'm, I'm gonna always be me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna always have my morals and principles where they need to be at. You know what I'm saying? So I, I will never switch up, no matter how much you switch up, or how you know what I'm saying, or how far we could go, and you know, and you just you all the way over there, and I'm here. I'm cool where I'm at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I can walk the streets and shit like that, and and, and get saluted and get appreciated. Feel me? And you probably can't. <laughs> you feel me? Right. Right. So that's just the way it go. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm for the peoples. You know what I'm saying? When you for the people, you know what I'm saying? You, you'll never lose. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, I'm for the peoples. I want I, what I do is, is, is for the youth. It's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, I'm gonna start talking about you know mental health and all kind of shit on my exactly. Show. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because a lot of us come home and shit like that. We fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no family, nobody. You know what I'm saying? Nobody to talk to. Nobody to reach out to, you know what I'm saying? And you home, you been you been in jail 30 years, 25 years, like it's a whole new vibe and all that. You feel me? So, you know, we gotta start, you know, helping these brothers and shit like that, man, reaching out and all that. You know, a lot of these brothers be fucked up, man. It's just not cool. And a lot of us come home and you might and we might have a conversation and it seem like we all right, but we fucked up too. We might have anxiety, we have all kind of other shit going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? From being locked up and all the shit that a motherfucker been through and all that. So these are the things that, you know, we, we need to start to address too. You know, because us, 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 us as men, you know what I mean? Us, especially us, man, from the hood and all that, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we create to, you know, to hide our emotions and shit like that in front and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want the next man to think of you in any kind of way. Or look at you in a whole different perspective and all that. You know that, right, especially right, now. Right, right, Motherfuckers right. that catch a body just for the hell of it, just for the stunt. You know what I'm saying? Then go to jail and, and tell on everybody. You know what I'm saying? And get a hundred years and fuck his whole life up. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, man. And the thing is, right now, especially the time we in. And James talks about this a lot, man. You know, we had those cats that stormed the Capitol building. Right. And um. And they saying, man, they found dudes out there that had weapons and everything, man. These supremacists is not playing. Nah. They, they not playing at all. And the more we stay out here stuck on this dumb shit fighting and killing each other, man, the more it put us at risk to just get took out because they not playing. Yeah, but that's what I say still. A lot of the situation, like I say still, it, it, it's hopeless. I mean, because they getting ready and we still out here 
of fucking with each other. Like yeah. I said, I just just like the other night, while, while I was telling you with the yeah. situation, yeah. like a motherfucker just decide like he want to just start niggering me and cussing me out while we had a fucking kids football game. You get me? Yeah. I don't know if it was maybe a nigga didn't like me from the past or he's whatever, but when I think about shit like that, and how motherfuckers is storming the Capitol building, and then we got the Black Lives Matter, and we supposed to be trying to come together, and then I'm sitting out here getting into it with a nigga on a football field because I'm cheering my fucking kid on, and he from the opposing team, and he just don't like the fact that I'm cheering my son on. So we finna get into a drag out fist fight because That's how simple this shit happens too. It's simple shit, and, and and it all started because I'm trying to talk to the nigga and say, hey, man, do we have a problem? Because hey, I don't you know, understand what's, so what's going on. As soon shit. as that happened, I nigga, it was... I can relate. My, yo, listen, my kid go to soccer, and, and, <laughs> and that shit, some shit like that happened to me, too. My son was out a little bit. I felt like he didn't play him too much. I went to the coach. I was like, my man, like, what's up, man? You all right, bro? Like, you good? Like, you better be ain't playing my son. Like, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? Nah, the shit almost turned crazy. They... They got rid of us and all that. Like we had to go sign to a whole different fucking league. Exactly. But the point of the matter is, is like we can't get along as a people from all the shit we get. Yeah, and why they, you know, and like you say, up, they, 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 they stacking up. James, they getting weapons. They loading up. And we still out here calling each other niggas and trying to punk each other from bullshit. That's why you stay out of that shit and just go on and get ready. <laughs> you ain't got to get ready. I'm already ready. I was, I, we, we know. What fuck what they talking about. I mean, listen, man, you know, situations like that, man, Sometimes you just gotta, you know, for your kids and all that, you don't want to live out, you know, sometimes, not if a guy's coming to you, spitting at you and all that, and, you know, being crazy, you know, passive aggressive, then you already know you gotta go from zero to hunt. But other than that, you know, sometimes you'd be like, my man, you know what? You good, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going through that. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll never know where that shit could lead. Exactly. You know, his dummy. Some brothers out there, just, like I told you, man, a lot of brothers ain't happy out there with themselves. And that's the that'd be the main point, I think. A lot of motherfuckers ain't satisfied or happy with the place they are in. Or when they look uh, up 20, 30, they look up 20, 30 right. years later and I'm still stuck in the same shit. You feel me? Yeah, there you go. There you go. So you got to you got to always, you know, always think, man, always be the bigger person, man, no matter what. Just be like, not if you not if your life is being threatened and or he's mushing you or something. And, and that's a different vibe. But. Other than that, if he just talking shit and all that, telling you, all right, man, just keep it cool. Your kid is there. Best thing you did was just walk off and all that. Make it to another day. That's you know it. what I'm saying? For sure. I want to take five minutes to go to prison. Man. Ah, 2.3 seconds. Yeah, That's two. it, yeah, man. That's it. Seconds. You might punch, yo, Matt, you might punch. You would have punched him in the face and he got heart problems. Now he died, then what? You're going to prison. You know how many soccer games you going to miss? Man. Finally get